Welcome to the red carpet diary coverage of the Toronto International Film Festival. I'm Cheryl Brown at the Visa Screening Room. The chasm between adults and adolescent worlds can be a nightmare, but Travis Danaraj checked out a dreamy world's premiere. We are on the red carpet of Michael Goldblock's directorial debut. In Daydream Nation, he has assembled a stellar cast to tell a smart and funny story about teenage angst. It's amazing. It couldn't couldn't be better. You know, I'm a Torontonian, so it's a big deal for me to, to premiere my movie here. I'm so happy for Mike. He's just um, an amazing person, and you know, I wish him all the best with his film. But I just can't believe it's his first time. You would never know, because on set he was just so calm, and I just find it really amazing. Mike is one of my favorite people in the world. He's so incredibly smart, but he's very irreverent and humble and funny. And so working with him was a dream come true. He's a he's a visionary, and he he also really cares about characters, you know? I sort of had a professional crush on Kat. I just started to, to really love her <laughs> acting. And so, um, you know, I sent her the script and, and, and she saw that this was a movie and, and a part that she could do something special with. So then she hopped on board and once you have Kat Dennings, a lot of other actors want to come on board as well because she she and she and lends such an air of legitimacy to the movie and, and people understand, okay, this is going to be a complex, cool, interesting film. I got sent the script. The characters pretty much fleshed out on the page, but, you know, there was definitely that period, the prep time for me where I really decided, made conscious decisions about how I wanted her to look, the mannerisms I wanted her to have, intonations, all that actor -ish stuff. I play this gym teacher who works at the school and I feel like I've never really left the town. So she's a little bit sheltered and maybe she was the queen in high school but then just got kind of stuck in her later life. Uh, and she tries to run the school with an iron fist. She's pretty uptight. Well, I wanted to make a movie that uh, not everybody in the world's going to like and some people are going to really, really love. You know, that, that's the kind of voice I want to have. I play Jenny, who is um, a small town girl who is the opposite of Kat Dennings and very threatened by Kat's character. Um, and I have really bad hair in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so lucky as a first time director to have people like Kat Dennings and Josh Lucas and Andy McDowell and, and Reese Thompson because they give so much.